I'm back again. I was out for a while, but I'm doing okay. And I'm happy to be back cooking. It's the love of my life, unfortunately. Uh, today we're going to make an Italian appetizer, which is called cabunada. And it is a dish that's usually used when you're making um, a, pre a first course. If you're having cold cuts, people put it on sandwiches. My granddaughter, believe it or not, uses it for pasta. She absolutely loves it. I'm going to give you the ingredients, but basically this is as much as you want, what you like, more of or less of, it's to your discretion. I don't follow a recipe, but I'm going to tell you what the ingredients are. Celery, onion, garlic, eggplant, capers, olives, tomato sauce, extra virgin olive oil, balsamic vinegar. Now today I happen to have a tomato that was on the way out anyway, so I'm going to add that also. You don't have to. And like I said, if you like more celery and less eggplant, do whatever you like. I also told my granddaughter and my grandson, because they went out to buy it, to get the small eggplants. Because if you buy very big eggplants, they usually tend to have a lot of seeds and it'll make it bitter. So if you can get the, I believe these are Japanese eggplants. Um, I believe you can find them in specialty stores probably. So what I'm trying to do is pass this recipe on to the next generation. And those generations are my, I have two grandchildren who I absolutely adore. Uh, my grandson, Jonas, and my granddaughter, Angela. And they're gonna help me with this recipe because when grandma's tired, they're gonna do it for me. Okay. Where are my grandchildren to help me with this recipe? I don't wanna do this by myself. <laughs> oh, here they are. Here they are. Oh, adorable. They look just like grandma, both of them. They're both beautiful. Okay, guys, we're gonna do it together. Okay? okay, let's do it. All right. Okay, my celery is washed and dried, and I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna put everything in this bowl that I'm gonna cook first. Jonas, see when you see celery that's dark like that, honey? That's not too, it's not gonna be as good. It's not gonna taste this good. This celery is good, the lighter celery. And I always use the, the leaves in it also because it tastes good, okay? Okay. And we're going to try to keep it. Yes, you better be cooking with Grandma soon. Well, you have been with me since the very beginning. On the carbonara, some people like the skin and others don't. So it's to your judgment if you want to use it or not. I'm going to peel some of the skin off because I don't like it all skin. And I'm, going to, I'm going to do like every other I'll peel. And then I'm going to cut it in half. Okay, and then we're going to cut it down. I'm so proud of my grandchildren that they enjoy watching Grandma cook and hopefully and learn from you. Yes, honey. And I learned from you guys, too. I found out today that both my grandchildren adore capers, and they're almost filling out the whole jar. So much so that we're eating so all the capers for the recipe. Exactly. I better have enough, or you guys are in trouble. <laughs> Grandma, you don't uh, peel them before you cut it? or You, you should. Right. You could hack it with a, with a knife, and then... Uh, the peels should come off. Grandma was a little lazy today. <laughs> the oil is heating up, and like I said, if it's not hot enough, what I do is I put one piece of eggplant in, 
to test it because if it's not hot, what, what's going to happen is all that oil is going to be absorbed in the eggplant. It's going to be very greasy. So right now it's still not hot for me. So how do you know if it is hot enough? You'll see a sizzle around the item. You'll see it sizzling and that's when you're going to put it in. First, I'm going to saute the eggplant first, then add the, the celery, and then as it's cooking, then I will add the onion, the garlic, the olives, the capers, the wine, uh, etc. Now as it starts to saute, you're going to start putting your celery and all your other items in, okay? So how long are we leaving this program? Uh, you really can't measure, honey. You just have to check it. See the way some pieces are still raw? And some people pieces look like they're cooking. Okay, so we're looking for the more translucent. You're colors. looking for more exactly more translucent. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna put in here is my celery and the onion. So we're not adding the garlic till later? Not yet. Garlic has a tendency to burn very fast. Good. So that goes at the end. Mm -hmm. I started out with a whole jar of capers. <laughs> My two grandchildren happen to love them. This is what I have left. Uh oh. And if I didn't take it away from them, I wouldn't have enough. This is the jar I started with, <laughs> and this is what they consume. We like to snack. Yeah, well, guess what? tablespoons of white wine. Okay. Add that in. Oh, you put in a water of the watered tomato sauce? You always, you always fill the can. Uh, a little balsamic vinegar. Now there are people that use sugar for carbonara because it's supposed to be sweet and sour. I don't usually. So if you want to add a little sugar to balance out the Acidity, you can. And now that's all prepared. And just to clarify, you don't measure anything, you just do it by guessing. Right? Do it by what you like. You know, do it by, I'm sure some people that are very good will measure everything, but Grandma doesn't. <laughs> At Grandma 76, has... I do it by, I do it by whatever I think it is. You have an old fashioned approach. Yes. Okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Angela, can you please stir that for Grandma? Sure. Thank you. How does it look? It looks good. It's coming along well. Okay. The onions are getting a little more translucent mm -hmm. and the celery is uh, boiling down. So we're looking for it all to boil down, right? Yes. You're looking for the liquid to dissipate quite a bit. You shouldn't have liquid, it should be mostly dry on your face. And like I was telling my grandchildren, this a day later or two days later is even better because it helps, you know, all the vegetables get together and it tastes much better. But I hope you enjoy it. My granddaughter is going to put this over pasta, but most, like I said, it's an appetizer. Most people put it on bread or toast. Okay? I hope you enjoy it, and if you have grandchildren like mine, get a case of capers before you <laughs> cook this recipe because they ate all of it. Thank you so much. Please subscribe. And like the video. And like the video. And love my grandchildren <laughs> as much as I love them so much. But I'm going to kill them when this is over because they ate all my capers. <laughs> <laughs>